Now start to do the second repeatability experiment. So on the equipment flash green light work normally. Repeat measure the distance in six times. Choose any one of the 10 degrees to repeat the distance six times. Record the maximum and minimum values and then calculate the response threshold ratio based on the data, generally starting from the zero degree direction of the device. Other angles that can be set are 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and minus 15 degrees, minus 30 degrees, minus 45 degrees, minus 16 degrees. Take this flame detector for example, we have measured the data of 0 degree in the first experiment. Now adjust the 15 degrees. Also detect 6 times to record the response distance. Now we take off the blocking light plate. Click the screen raised by motor. The screen displayed is 2191, we record on the table. 2191 indicates the alarm distance of 2.191 meters when we're doing fair experiments. And in the reality of detecting the flame distance, we need to pay attention to a chopping light frequency here. Now set to 10. There is a chopping light sheet inside the device. It's to reduce the light source of the flare. So in the reality of detecting the distance, the number of displacements to be multiplied by the chopping light frequency, which is 21.91 meters. We repeat this test six times. The data are recorded in the table. Now we calculate the response threshold ratio based on the data. Find the maximum and minimum values of the six times of data. According to the formula maximum value squared divided by the minimum value squared. For example, the maximum value is 2196 and the minimum value is 2186. Then the calculate value is 1.009. The results recorded three decimal places. The test requirement is that the threshold ratio cannot be greater than 2. We measured 1.009. It means that the flame detector repeatability experiment surpassed.